Thanks for pressing play on the video today. It's great to have you along. This is Caroline from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk. Quite a mouthful. I think I have to think about changing that, but in the interim, I will put a link down below so you can pop over to my blog to see all of the um, dimensions that you need to make today's project, which is this great card that I did have on my blog about a week ago and I promised a tutorial. It looks on first glance as like a pretty standard greetings card but when you open it, it reveals a little surprise. Can you see that? It's got a little pop-up section. So it's a little box section. It makes it just that little bit more special than a normal greeting card. And the great thing is it falls, can you see that? Perfectly flat to make it easy to post. Again, another version of it. Again, very simple card concept on the front. Again, you open it up and it's got that lovely pop-up section. And the great thing about the card is it's self-opening as well. So you don't have to worry about the recipient knowing how to open some of these more complicated pop-up cards that we see. So how do we make it? First, I'm going to bring in um, my Stampin' Trimmer and a piece of cardstock that measures 14 millimeters by 28.5. If you're working in Imperial, that's five and a half inches by 11 and a quarter. I'm gonna score it on my trimmer. I don't have a scoreboard. I would like a scoreboard. It just never makes it to the top of my list. And remember, you can do everything the scoreboard does on the Scamping Trimmer. You just need to take a little bit more time, a little more care to get the dimensions correct. So we're gonna push that cutting blade right out of the way so we don't use that mistake and we just use the scoring tool. I'm going to pull out the extending arm because we are going to score all the way along the long side of the cardstock. We are going to start by scoring at nine centimeters, sorry, nine and a half centimeters. Then we're going to move along to 18 centimeters. If you're working in, in Imperial, sorry, nine centimeters is three and a quarter inches, um, 18 is seven inches. So seven inches or 18 centimeters, then 19 centimeters or seven and a half inches if you're making the imperial version. And lastly at 27.5 centimeters or 10 and three quarter inches if you're making that imperial version. Just move the scoreboard out of the way. And I'm going to bring in, um, this is the, um, scoring tool from the envelope punch board. If you've got a bone folder, perfect. If not, I find that the, this tool works just as well. Well, maybe not just as well, but good enough. Um, as I said, again, a bit like the scoreboard, the envelope, the um, bone folder hasn't made it to the top of the list either. So a bit, a bit bangy here while I'm doing that. So we've scored along all of those lines. And now what we're gonna do is just make sure that the card is gonna fold up the way we want. So what we want to do is fold it flat so that this edge here folds up against that very first score line that we made at nine and a half centimeters, three and three quarter inches. And what you should find is that when you close the card up, that the whole thing lies flat. If that's not the case and you've got a bit too much buckling, just trim a tiny little bit off this section here and we should work fine. The next thing we want to do is punch out our aperture from this section of the cardstock here. I'm just using the two and a half inch punch. You could use your big shot and get really creative with the shapes that you use. You then want to take a piece of cardstock that measures eight centimeters by 13 and a half centimeters and decorate that how you want it to look behind that aperture here in this section. Once you've decorated that, you just need to stick that down on the middle panel and you can see when that falls over, that will be in the center. You need to do that before you do this next step. The next, the next step, and this is the bit that makes the card work, is we need to put a piece of sticky strip along this section here. So I'm just gonna take that. scissors. Oh, sorry, just knocking the camera as I'm doing that. Snip that off there. Okay. I do find this, I keep calling it silly strip, sticky strip. 
that if you rub your bone folder over it a few times, it just makes it a little bit easier to peel off that red backing there. Okay. Then to erect your card, all you need to do is fold over the front cover when it's perfectly flat, just like that. And then you can see the card, you've made that lovely box section. And then again, you can continue decorating the front however you like, a bit like in these two cards here. Okay, that's it. Pretty straightforward. I will put all the dimensions on my blog, so please pop over there. I'd love to see what you make for your versions of this. If you would like to order any Stamping Up products, I would be delighted and honoured to place the order for you. You can either drop me an email, shop online, or I love talking to people, so just give me a call. I look forward to hearing from you. And um, yeah, I will see you again sometime. Thank you, bye-bye.